This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. Two people arrested this morning in connection with a shooting that killed a man in Carlsbad. It happened near a complex on Coringa Way last night. A neighbor tells us that she saw some people gathered in a courtyard and then heard a gunshot. And police got there and found an 18-year-old man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to a hospital where he died. 16-year-old girl and a 19-year-old man have been arrested in connection with this shooting, and they are both facing charges. Carlsbad police announcing an arrest in a decades old murder case. 33 years ago, Julia Hernandez Santiago was found dead in Carlsbad. Fast forward to 2020 and police say in March they arrested 54 year old James Kingery on unrelated charges and got a DNA sample from him. Well, that DNA sample, they say, was a matched evidence found at the crime scene of Hernandez Santiago's murder. And now Kingery has been charged with murder and is awaiting trial without bail. It's opening day at Petco Park, but unlike any we've ever seen, fans won't be allowed at the ballpark and just one of several changes due to the pandemic. It will also be a shortened season, only 60 games, and for the players, there's hand sanitizer in the dugout. And players who aren't on the field will be sitting in the stands to keep their distance from each other. And there will be no high fives or spitting. Padres are on the, uh, taking on the Diamondbacks tonight. It's got Megan Perry now. Megan, it's going to be a different game, but at least we got a game. I know, at least there's a game. Very excited about that. And the weather is going to be so nice. I wish we were all at Petco Park enjoying the weather, but at least we're here in San Diego enjoying it. I am forecasting a temperature for about 71 degrees at first pitch tonight. But right now, let's talk about the afternoon. Temperatures this afternoon, low 70s for most of our coastal areas. Low 80s inland, near 80 in the mountains, about 106 in the deserts. We'll see faster clearing to sunny skies this weekend with slightly warmer temperatures. And then next week it gets a little bit warmer, actually highs back near normal. But it will also be feeling a little bit more muggy. Jim? Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.